Hi folks, I'm Adam, and today I'd like to show you how you can put an interactive timeline into a blog article or web page, and it will be directly in line with the content. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is create your timeline on your Mac with BDOC's Timeline 3D. And then you'll publish that timeline to the web using the web button in the toolbar. Now, if you have any questions about creating timelines, adding media and content to your timelines, and publishing them to the web, we've created some other tutorials that walk through these steps. You can find them at bdocs.com slash movies. But once you have your timeline published to the web, look for this embed link in the lower left of the timeline. Now, if you click this, you'll see some options and some, a snippet of code. This snippet of code is your key to embedding this timeline into your article or blog. I'm going to show you some examples. Um, let's get started. Here is a blog about movie reviews that I created using WordPress. And it has an article about J.J. Abrams with some text and an image. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this image with a timeline of the movies that J.J. Abrams has directed. Let's log into WordPress and edit our post. Switch from visual mode to HTML mode so that you can see the code that creates the post. And find the image tag. We're going to replace this image tag with the code from our timeline. I'm going to open a new browser window and load the web timeline and look for the embed link in the lower left corner and choose a layout. Now because the movie posters in our timeline are a portrait orientation and because I want this timeline to be beside the text, I'm going to choose the portrait layout here. And then I'm going to select the code and choose copy. Now come back to WordPress, make sure that image code is selected, and paste the timeline code right on top of it. Okay, now let's publish it and take a look. Just to remind you, here's the blog post we started with, and here's the new version with an interactive timeline of movie posters embedded into it. Now I'd like to show you a similar change, but this time we're going to use Rapid Weaver instead of WordPress. We'll start with this article that has some text and an image. This theme looks pretty great as it is, but instead of just using one photo, we could have all the best photos from our trip right in this blog so that readers can scan through it and see them all. Let's open Rapid Weaver. You'll recognize our page here in preview mode. Um, let's switch over to edit mode, which shows the text and the image without the site theme applied. We'll pull up our timeline in a new browser window, click the embed link again, and we'll choose the layout. This time I'm going to do a landscape layout. Select the code and choose copy. Come back to Rapid Weaver, select the image, and paste the timeline code right on top of it. Did you see how the image was replaced with our code from the timeline? Now I'll switch to preview mode and see how it looks. It looks great. But before we publish, let's add one more thing. Since these are nice travel photos, let's give the readers the opportunity to see them in a larger size. Let's go back to the browser and the timeline we had loaded and we're going to drag the web address straight from the browser into Rapid Weaver. This will create a link to the full-size timeline. I'm going to change the link text here to say view full size and then uh, let's go ahead and publish it. Now we have a beautiful article with a timeline in it that we can scan through all our travel photos and a link that lets readers um, see a full-size timeline with larger images from our trip. I hope that you'll have fun putting interactive timelines in your websites and blogs. If you create something great, please send us a link. We'd love to see it at support at bdocs.com. Thanks.